Well, hello, friends. Welcome back to Commute Talk. Uh, I feel like I'm getting a little bit sick, but uh, what's the worst that could happen, right? Plot twist, he dies. <laughs> I hope I don't die. Um, so, uh, John Baptiste writes in asking about Unix. Um, what do I think about the Unix API, the Unix ABI? Um, to what extent is Serenity going to be Unixy, Unix-like? Um, we're going to do anything custom, um, that type of stuff. And uh, thank you for sending that question. It is a good question, um, and something that comes up a lot in different ways, because it seems to me that whenever when people learn about a new operating system, um, there's a group of people <laughs> that, in response to this. They feel very strongly that they need to uh, like lay down why Unix is crap and uh, why you should be doing things their way or a different way. Or, um, uh, well, I mean, you get the idea, right? Like, the, it, I guess it like tickles people in the wrong place. Um, and I am sorry, but I cannot really help these people because I love Unix. Uh, <laughs> I loved Unix ever since I first saw it, ever since I first heard of it, before I even used it. And then when I first used it, I was so <sighs> hooked, I guess. I, it's just, um, I just still, to this day, find it really cool. Um, and... That's not to say that Unix is flawless. I, I certainly, I certainly perceive some of the flaws in Unix, especially uh, after implementing a Unix kernel. I mean, it's still not complete, obviously, but like after working on a Unix kernel or Unix-like kernel, um, I've really come to come to appreciate how annoying some of the flaws are, like uh, like signals, for instance. Like how annoying are signals? Oh, uh, <laughs> they're so crap, um, and I really, really dislike that the only way to handle the signals in the traditional Unix API uh, is that, like, synchronously, suddenly, you just find yourself, or um, I shouldn't say synchronously because it's, it's really asynchronous, uh, asynchronously, but suddenly you find yourself um, in a different execution context, because you got a signal, and whatever you were doing is on the stack, and now you're doing the signal handler, and it's really, really annoying. Um, as, like, it's annoying to use, and it's annoying to implement, uh, and I think that um, APIs like SignalFD, for instance, on Linux, um, they are a pretty cool idea. And I would like to do that, something like that too. And then I know that um, my old colleague Tiago uh, from um, from the Qt project, he has something called Fork FD, I think, which is sort of like Signal FD but for fork. And uh, I learned about that a while ago, and I thought, wow, that's kind of curious, and and uh, maybe maybe I should uh, have something like that for Serenity as well. Uh, I'll put a link to his uh, his blog about Fork FD actually in the in the in the description because I I thought it was really neat. Um, and um, you know there are other flaws of Unix as well, but I don't think that the Unix <coughs> architecture or um, philosophy is fundamentally broken like so many people insist. Um, and for anyone who finds who feels that Unix is bad or uh, is broken or whatever, uh, feel free to implement your own thing, right? Uh, you can, if it's a, if it's any use of to you, uh, feel free to take the Serenity kernel and morph it into something else that's not Unix. If that's useful, I don't know. Um, I like the Unix way, so I'm, that's how I'm building. Haters gonna hate, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, if I may use a, a dated meme. Um, so, when it comes to um, 
when it comes to the ABI of Unix, I mean, I, I, I guess if we're talking about like the System 5 ABI, I think it's okay. Uh, I don't have a problem with it. Um, I've enjoyed learning about it. I've enjoyed learning about um, ELF executables and like, uh, you know, linking and relocation and stuff like that. Uh, it was one of the very first things that I worked on for Serenity was uh, just parsing an ELF executable uh, and uh, like extracting individual functions from it and uh, running them on the fly. Um, I sort of had a, I don't know what I was trying to build. Like I had sort of a, like a just-in-time linker, I guess. Uh, that, that was the first thing that I worked on. Um, that would take like a like a compiled .o file on Linux, and then uh, you could you could uh, load it and link it on the fly, and then run any function in it. Uh, it was weird, but it was kind of cool. Um, uh, what do I think about the Unix API? Yeah, I, I think it's okay. It's it's good to. Uh, I mean, see, that's one of the enduring strength of the C language, I think, that uh, the C, uh, C ABI is just a, um, it's a fine point for all of the other languages, all of the languages to meet and exchange uh, data and procedure calls and stuff through the C ABI. Um, and I guess you would, you could say, because it's a little bit, out, it's a little bit of a um, nebulous concept, I guess, the Unix ABI, but um, if we're talking about like the C ABI, I think that it's a good thing to have. Uh, I don't love the C++ ABI because it's just so messy and um, I don't understand all the parts of it. What are all these like little generated variants of functions and stuff? Uh, I'm getting pretty good at reading the mangled names, but there's still, it, like, it produces so many extra things that I don't know what they are. And, Every time I feel like every time I learn about something that um, that the C++ ABI has, then something new shows up that I don't recognize. So maybe I wish that would be a bit simpler. Um, but then when it comes to the API of Unix, so I think some things in the Unix API are not perfect. Like something that irritates me, uh, I mean it's a small thing, but it does irritate me, is um, all these uh, system calls that take a string, but don't take the length of the string. So like open, for instance, I, I don't know why, it just really irritates me that, that um, the open syscall doesn't ask for the length of the string. It's like, it's implied that the kernel will work out what the length of the string is, and I think that's very silly. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, I think I, I originally got very irritated with this when I started using um, the string view class in Serenity more. So the string view is like, um, it's like a thin wrapper class around a, a character pointer and a length. And uh, it's very handy for passing strings around uh, even without having a null terminator, because it allows you to like make a substring of another string without having to uh, modify anything about the original. You can just like point into the original with a length. Um, but a string view is not, you cannot use this to pass it to open, for instance, because open expects the string to be null terminated. And that really annoys me about the Unix API. So it annoyed me so much that I went and I added a separate syscall to Serenity called like open with length uh, or something like that. Um, and it's a little thing, but <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what the correct solution would be there. Um, I guess I, I, I feel that if, if a syscall is taking a string, then it should also be taking the length of the string. Because if you're taking a buffer, 
you always take the length of the buffer. It's just strings are special. They're like, well, it'll just be an old terminator. Like, ah, that was... <clears throat> I guess I just really dislike null terminated strings. Maybe that's the, the thing I'm trying to get across. And maybe that's just uh, C-ism that I... Like the moment that you move to a language other than C and you realize that strings don't have to be null terminated and null terminated strings are, are like very silly, <laughs> like really crappy way of doing strings. Um, the moment you realize that, then then you start to be kind of annoyed by the limitations imposed by null terminated strings. Anyways, um, given that that's how millions of lines of code are written already, um, it's not something that uh, that I could change about the Serenity Open API if I wanted to be compatible. So it is what it is. <clears throat> um, yeah, but I love Unix. I love it despite its flaws, um, and I'm gonna keep using it. Serenity is gonna keep being Unix-like. Um, I mean, that's like, that's in the first sentence of the description of the system, right? It's a, it's a graphical Unix-like operating system for PC computers. PC computers, yeah, right. For PCs. Uh, maybe someday for something else, but right now for PCs. Ah. Uh, <laughs> I'm running out of steam. I don't know what to say about this, so I'll just say... Thanks everyone for hanging out with me on the commute, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.